Here's how to make transitions in Final Cut Pro effortlessly. I'll show you how the pros add a transition with a double click, and then we'll make a transition out of a title. Next, I'll share my secret spot for getting high quality overlays to make light leak transitions. And if you're looking for some free transitions to spice up your projects, stick around till the end. Final Cut Pro has a ton of built-in free transitions. To get to those, go to the transition browser over here on the right-hand side. You can click on this icon, or you can press Control Command 5 to open up the transition browser. Over here on the left-hand side, you'll see the transitions broken up into different categories like dissolves, dynamic transitions, and movements. You can close the categories by pressing this button here or show the categories by pressing it again. You can also preview a transition by skimming your playhead over the transition thumbnail to see what it will look like. You can also search for a transition by clicking in the search box below and typing the transition you're looking for. It only searches whichever category you're in, so right now it's only searching in movement. If I wanna search all of my transitions, I need to select up here, and then I can start to search down here, and it will show me all the different spin transitions in my transition browser. I can resize it by pulling up right here to make it longer, or I can click here and pull it to the left to show more transitions in the browser. All right, to add a transition to your project, just drag and drop it in between two video clips in your timeline. You can also select an edit point in your timeline and then double click on a transition to automatically add it to your timeline. You can also select a clip in your timeline and then double click on the transition to add it to both ends of that clip. Now that I've got my transition added, I can change the length of it by hovering over the end or the beginning of the transition and then clicking and dragging it towards the middle to make it shorter or out to make it longer. If I wanna change where the transition starts or ends on my clips, I just have to hover over the upper corner of the transition, and now I can change the edit point of this clip on my right. And then to do the same for the clip on the left, just click and drag on the upper right corner. I can also get real precise with my duration. I'll select it and press Control D, and it brings up the duration change controls here. These first two numbers are hours, followed by minutes, then seconds, and then frames. So if I want a two second transition, I'll press 200 and then press Enter. And now our transition is longer, it's two seconds. You can also make some adjustments to your transition in the inspector. The inspector will be over here on the right-hand side. If you don't see it, click this button with three sliders on it or press Command-4 to open it up. With my transition selected, you can see I can make changes to the colors here. So I'll click on there and we'll just change these to some purples and a blue. And just like that, I have a custom color transition. You can also do precise editing to your transition in the precision editor. Just double click on a transition and it will open up this new view. On top we have our outgoing clip and on bottom our incoming clip. This dark shaded area is video footage that we don't see. So this is extra media that the clip has that we're not going to show. I can move my transition in time by clicking and dragging on it left to right. I can also make it shorter or longer, and I can also change when the clips transition. I'll just click and drag on a clip and you'll see it moves in the precision editor. Once I've got my transition set up, I can press escape to get out of the precision editor. Sometimes when you add a transition, you might get this warning message here. It says there's not enough media beyond the clip edges to make a transition. What does that mean? Let's press cancel and let's double click on an edit point and we'll open up the precision editor. You'll see that this clip here it has media beyond the clip edge. But this bottom one doesn't. There's no media beyond the clip edge. And Final Cut Pro needs a little bit of media on each side of the clip in order to make that transition. So you can manually make that change and add some media to this side of the clip. Or when you add your transition, Final Cut Pro will do it automatically when I click Create Transition. Here's a cool tip. You can make a transition out of a title. So I've got two clips here, me dancing with my friend after we caught some fish, and then my wife checking out a smoked iguana that's eating its own tail and she's not impressed. So let's go to the title browser by clicking this button in the upper left corner to show the title browser and then go down to dynamic titles. Let's add this one marquee bumper on top of our clips. I'm gonna move this over a little bit to cover where our transition happens. That looks good. Then I'll select the title and in the inspector, I'll change the text. Then I'll go to the title inspector and I can change the colors right here. Now, if we play that back, our title comes on, we see the text and then it goes off and it shows the next clip under it. This is great for creating a transition when you need to add some text to it to set up the next scene. Hey, are you digging these transition tips? If so, will you give this video a thumbs up? That way I know if I'm doing a good job, if I'm helping you out. I really appreciate it. In just a second, I'm gonna hook you up with some free transitions, but first, let's make this cool light leak transition. So let's make this cool light leaks transition. Go to pexels.com and change it to videos, 
and just search for light leaks. We have a ton of options in here. And find a light leak that looks good to you. This one looks pretty good. I also have another one I found earlier that I really like, this one. And I'll put a link to this in the description below. But you just click on free download and it will automatically download it to your computer. Go back to Final Cut Pro and import it into your library. All right, here's the one I downloaded and I'll just set my in and out points and then I'll drag and drop it above my clips. And I'll position it to where the major part of the light leaks happens right at the cut. Right there, that looks pretty good. I'm going to press P to bring up the position tool and then I'm gonna drag my clip below the other one and it will leave a gap clip here. Then I'll select my top clip, press Control V to bring up the animation control. And then I'll click this little drop down next to opacity. And then I'll just click on this little handle and I'm gonna pull it over right there. Let me turn off the light leaks. What that does is it quickly fades from one clip to the other. All right, now I can turn that off and we'll turn on our light leaks and we'll go to the inspector and change blend mode to screen. And here's how that looks. Oh, so romantic, so beautiful. I have some free transitions I made I wanna give you, check them out. First off, let's open up the animation controls by pressing control V and then open up our opacity here. I can quickly create a fade in and out with these controls. We fade in and see our hikers and then it fades out. But there is a faster way. Go to the effects browser and then go into fade in and out category, drag and drop this onto your clip, and you immediately have a fade in and a fade out. If you select your clip and go to the inspector, you'll see you can even control how fast it fades in and out, and you can offset the fades as well. Let's do a 10 second fade in and out. I'm sorry, 10 frames. So now my clip fades in over 10 frames and it fades out quickly. Don't worry if you don't have that already. I'm gonna show you how to get it for free in just a second. I have another free transition that I think you'll like. Go to the transition browser and go down to tile pop. Drag and drop tile pop transition in between your two clips and check it out. It creates this cool spinning tile transition. Let's make it a little bit longer and check it out. There we go. If we select it, we can go to the inspector and we have a bunch of options we can change here. We can say, Start the titles from the upper left instead of the center, and that's how this looks. They move from here down across. We can also change the build style. Let's go by row, and it'll start with the top row and work its way down. You can also change the size of the tiles and the number of columns and rows that you see. You can also change the end scale so they start bigger or smaller and we can rotate them a little bit and we can change the fall off and their end positions. Let's take a look at what we've made now. Oh, that's cool. They move up and swoop away. Very cool. I put that fade effect and tile pop transition in my all-star pack. It's a pack of 99 titles, effects, and transitions built exclusively for Final Cut Pro. It's worth $138, but you can have it for free. All you gotta do is click the link in the description below. Happy editing.